Welcome to my UMGC uh, course. Here we are looking at public safety. So one of the big things we have to realize is what is public safety? And public safety is normally referring to the welfare and protection of the general public, uh, normally done through the government. So my background, a lot of my background, I work in Northern California for several uh, state and federal organizations working with um, enforcement, typically. Uh, sadly, I, I did a lot of fine enforcement for the Air Pollution Control District within Northern California, uh, helping police farmers so that we can keep air quality at a certain level. Um, I also worked on several policy and procedural uh, works throughout Northern California, again, directly affecting public policy and public safety. Uh, within my realm with the Air Pollution Control District, I helped develop policies on burn days and non-burn days that again affected the overall quality of life uh, for Northern Californians. That's only a, a, a little aspect. I've also did a heavy uh, GIS, Geographical Informational Systems, so that's more technical, but I was able to do traffic analysis, helping with traffic departments on flow control of traffic, things of, things of that nature. So expectations for this course. Uh, what I'm looking for is assignments should be in APA formatting. You should include a citation when appropriate. We're looking at 12 point font. We're looking at Times New Roman. Uh, the first week, you have to realize this is more of a getting you back into college type course. So the first week you should look at understanding the course requirements, understanding the discussion boards, looking at the due dates. Due dates are typically Sunday, midnight, EST. So keep that in mind. If you have issues, communicate with me. I posted my cell phone so that you can actually reach out to me. For discussions, I'm looking for a main post and I'm looking for at least two to four peer responses. Uh, two is minimum, four is where I would like you to be at, but again, it kind of varies. Looking at your posts, see if there's a way to incorporate outside reading and include a citation into that. The citation is really important as since this is a college level course, even if we're just relating other things that we've been discussing or looking at or reading into our assignments, into our discussions, uh, that provides support from the literature and that's always a good thing to start with. We're going to end the course with a course survey completion. So at the end of the course, you need to complete that survey. There's also four big policies that, from the school that you need to be aware of. Academic policy, big thing there is no cheating, do your own work, participate. Classroom civility, again, be respectful of your peers. In the assignments, we're gonna be turning, uh, using turnitin.com for some of the assignments to verify that no plagiarism is occurring. If you are using outside resources, you should be copying, rephrasing it in your own words, and then using a citation to post where you got the idea from. There are writing centers available, so if you're not sure how to do that, reach out to me, I'll get you in touch with the writing center. And lastly, UMGC's zero tolerance. If you are caught cheating, zero tolerance, you're, you're out. So normally what I do with that is I will look at the offense, I will communicate with you and we'll figure out a path forward uh, to make sure that you understand how to get through this. The big thing is communication. I posted my cell phone so that you can reach out to me. We're also going to have a few instructor connections. I posted a link in the announcements so that you can schedule times to communicate with me. Again, that communication is vital to successful completion of this course. If you have any questions or concerns, please reach out.
Thank you.